In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Hoping you're staying warm in this cold weather. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, have been seeing visions in the night. I saw that the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea. Four great beasts emerged from the sea, each different from the other. The first was like a lion with eagle's wings, and as I looked, its wings were torn off and it was lifted from the ground, and set standing on its feet like a man, and it was given a human heart. The second beast I saw was different, like a bear, raised up on one of its sides, with three ribs in its mouth, between its teeth. Up came the command, eat quantities of flesh. After this I looked and saw another beast, like a leopard, and with four birds' wings on its flanks. It had four heads, and power was given to it. Next I saw another vision in the visions of the night. I saw a fourth beast, fearful, terrifying, very strong. It had great iron teeth, and it ate, crushed and trampled underfoot what remained. It was different from the previous beasts, and had ten horns. While I was looking at these horns, I saw another horn sprouting among them, a little one. Three of the original horns were pulled out by the roots to make way for it. And in this horn I saw eyes like human eyes, and a mouth that was full of boasts. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and one of great age took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair of his head was as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited on him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. A court was held and the books were opened. The great things the horn was saying were still ringing in my ears, and as I watched the beast was killed and its body destroyed and committed to the flames. The other beasts were deprived of their power, but received a lease of life for a season and a time. I gazed into the visions of the night, and I saw coming on the clouds of heaven one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory and kingship, and men of all peoples, nations and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Everything that grows on the earth, bless the Lord. Give, give glory Lord and eternal praise to him. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sea beasts and everything that lives in water, bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Birds of heaven, all bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Animals wild and tame, all bless the Lord. Give glory and eternal praise to him. 
the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Think of the fig tree, and indeed every tree. As soon as you see them bud, you know that summer is now near. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. O oh Lord, my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O oh Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. That the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. 
thanks be to God. Thanks very much for joining me for Mass. It is much appreciated. Um, I'm over for the ordination later this evening of Hugh Dunleavy to the priesthood, so please remember Hugh in your prayers. Many thanks again for joining me. Take care. Bye. God bless. See you soon.